Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. These are the settings you should use for a traffic manager in City Skylines. Go to the gear icon and click on Options. Keep all the settings as defaults except for the following changes. In the General tab, scroll down to the bottom and change simulation accuracy from very low to low. If you leave it at very low, you can. However, sometimes you'll notice that the cars will not follow some of the intersection signs. So if you notice that, you can go to low. But besides that, you do not need to change it any higher. You can leave it right at low. My understanding is if you make it any higher, it doesn't have a material impact. Next, go to the Gameplay tab. And, of course, disable despawning. The game naturally despawns vehicles, so if they're on the road for a long time or if they're stuck for a long time, it will actually delete them so that your city can operate better, so that you have better traffic flow. But of course, it's an easier setting, so it's always nice to play with the traffic not despawning. That way, you can get a real idea on how good your city is really laid out and what your traffic flow really is. It's a harder setting, but it's a lot more challenging, so click disable despawning next enable advanced vehicle AI so you want to have it at 50% to 100% depending on the power of your system so between 50 and 100% pick whatever your game can handle when you move the mouse away it doesn't tell you your percentage you gotta click on it and then it will actually tell you what the percentage is you can solve all city traffic issues with it just at 50%. So do not feel the need that you have to get up to a higher percentage just to solve the traffic flow in your city. Then in policies, make sure that automatically add traffic lights if applicable. Check that off. That way, when you have certain roads intersecting other roads, especially the bigger roads, intersecting the smaller roads. When you get those intersections, it does not put traffic lights there. Normally traffic lights hurt the traffic flow in the city. And then if you have to do this afterwards, it's a little bit of a pain. So just set it up from the beginning where add traffic lights is turned off. And then in overlays, maintenance, and key binds, again, you can leave those all as defaults. After you have made those changes, you can go to your traffic manager icon and you will see right here that there is no despawning. And then also, the other thing you want to do before you start building your city, and you can do it after you've built the city, but you can set it up from the very beginning, update your speed limits so that for the various roads that you have, you can set the speed limits that you want and that will help with traffic flow and it will also make sure that your city is set up in the way that you want it to be. My understanding is that if you update the settings for Traffic Manager, that is just for that city. It will not carry over to other cities. So remember, anytime you do a city or if you update Traffic Manager settings in one city, you'll still have to do it in another city if you want to apply those changes or if you're starting a new city and you want those same changes. So remember, you have to set it up per city. That's going to be it. I do live stream. Stop by, say hello. Schedule's in the description below. Please like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you did not. And if you want to support me more, smash that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.